So the reason we came here is because we are working on deploying Aragon to the mainnet very soon. And so we want people to be able to access it very cheaply because DAOs are very important in areas of the world where they just cannot afford to pay $100 to deploy a DAO. And so that's the reason we are here today in order to figure out what are the scaling solutions that we can adopt to make that possible and to make that you know, DAOs accessible to everyone in the world. So I think today, uh, one of the most interesting things, um, though one of the most interesting probably far out things too, uh, is Truebit. I think it's a very interesting uh, scalability mechanism in the future, uh, just because you're able to offload computations that are not necessarily uh, relative to like, you know, swapping assets or stuff like that, but are more generic. And so I think it's a very interesting solution. We're also looking into, into Polkadot. Uh, and we're also looking into WitNet to like scale different uh, chains and provide like a cross-chain solution. And I think all of them enable what's in the end one of our goals, which is having a fully cross-chain network uh, and not relying on any single chain. So I think the solution for scalability over the next six months are going to look like probably like a new chain that we do using something like Proof Authority. And we have a few projects working on, on running it. Um, we have to make sure, though, that we have the correct incentives not to run that forever, to sort of decentralize the governance of that over time so we are not even able and dictators. We shouldn't fall into that trap uh, because power corrupts people. Um, so that's one thing that I think will happen over the course of the next months. and then. Two years from now, I'm very interested in solutions like WitNet or Polkadot, where we are able to fully have a cross-chain network, and basically we abstract the network from the chain that it's running on. I think having a cross-chain solution uh, from the start versus making one single chain scale makes sense from a hedging perspective. When you run these sort of economies, uh, which in the future are going to be huge economies, they are going to uh, ideally you know, run billions of dollars and trillions of dollars, you want to make sure you hedge your bets. So you want to make sure you create these crypto networks from the ground up so they rely on multiple chains. And each chain can have its own consensus mechanism. It can even have its own state transition mechanism. Uh, it can have its own governance mechanism. But you don't want to put your, all your eggs in the same basket. And that's the reason why I think uh, being cross-chain from the ground up makes a lot of sense than just relying on one single chain. In summary, I believe the event was beautifully organized and I want to thank uh, Gibeth and the Web3 Foundation for pulling it together. I think it's one of the uh, you know, events in which you actually come out with something tangible and some ideas and some roadmap, which is very hard to find nowadays in events. So congrats for pulling it together.